Uh, Honorable Mboy, um, where do we go from here? Because we've had so much. Are we making any movement? You know, you know, uh, some the reality is that, uh, and even even here, our viewers have seen the amount of uh, myths, uh, political lies, and double speak that uh, Kenya Kwanza is 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 known for. First, and I will just confirm this eh, because I have read the bill from cover to cover. Mm -hmm. uh, there is absolutely <coughs> no mention of any interest that will be given back after the seven years of uh, involuntary uh, contributions. In fact, what they will do, and they have written it in the bill, is that they will even tax that money. So they take your money for seven years, instead of giving you interest, they will tax it. That is what the bill says. So let us, let us be reali realistic about what is in the bill and what the proposal is. And let me talk about, I will not even add any words, let me please just address the issues Kenya Kwanzaa have told us, because we've listened to them for so long and, and, and it's getting very tired. Um, of course, you remember, the, you know, half the time they speak, they are constantly talking about the previous regime, where they forget to tell us that the president was part of. Um, then there is constant uh, talk about how they wanted to uplift the lives of uh, hustlers. My colleague has ably said that really they have not. And in fact, they kept saying, we are not dealing with positions. Now we've seen that the real issue was about positions, because even CASs are more than the ones that were there during the time of, uh, of Guru. And not to forget get that, um, you know, the Hustler Fund was supposed to be for business purposes. We have seen that it has changed. Now, the president said that uh, Kenyans are not highly taxed. I've seen that right there on the, on the screen. Eh? Let me, and he says, oh, no, let's compare ourselves to other jurisdictions. Let's compare ourselves with countries like South Africa, Morocco, Tunisia. Some, the average salary in South Africa, if you Google, is 187000 per month. The average salary in Morocco is 263,000 per month. The average salary in Tunisia is 175,000 per month. The average salary in Kenya is 20,000 shillings. I mean, how then can you compare? It's like comparing, my friend here, the senator said, day and night. You cannot tell us that, oh no, we are, our, our tax regime has to be in a certain way. And then Kenyans are already poorly paid. Kenyans are already, so many Kenyans are living below the poverty line. Let's compare economies that are the same. Let's not compare ourselves with people that are way above us in terms of economic development. Now, the 3% um, on uh, housing fund, uh, the president says, you know, this is going to help uh, a lot of Kenyans that are unemployed. And you know, Sam, let me tell you, Kenya is a capitalist country. We are not a communist country. We are not going to put our cake in the middle and everybody takes a share that is the same. Everybody has to put their best foot forward. We cannot say that because I'm employed, take money from me so that you can give somebody else who probably sits and hangs around. And the president said, those who hang around street corners, those who are taking drugs, those who are drinking alcohol, so you take money from me so that you can give them that money. That doesn't make sense. But then over and above that, let's agree that uh, yes, we have unemployed people who want to employ them. Is every Kenyan in the construction industry? Because you said that we we'll take money from doctors, from teachers, but who are we giving that money to? Plumbers, uh, smartphones, uh, I don't know, electricians. What about the doctors? I'm what about, them what about what about the doctors? What about the teachers? What about the nurses? What about the cooks? What about all those other industries? The reality is this. We cannot tax everyone to just build one sector of the economy. If it was going to be broad-based, that would make sense. But to tell us that you take money from all of us so that you can build one particular sector, I think that's also being, being, being in my opinion, very shallow-minded. Because we need to expand this. But then, um, uh, you, know, you know, I also heard, and this is also a lie, you know, there is, I don't know, um, VAT on fuel, uh, even though we are increasing it by 8%, we are also removing, and the words were removing uh, the 2.5%, the, the although he said 3.5% road development levy, uh, we are removing the import declaration uh, levy. That's not true. They are only being reduced by a very small margin, about 1%. And, and yet, it, you know, he tried to argue that the 3.5% is going and the 2.2% is going so that you look at it and think, well, that's about 5%, close to 8%. That's not true. It's only about 2%. So you increase 8%, 8 take away 2%, and then you tell us where life is going to be better. I think that's not true. Now, uh, Sam, I, the issue of, uh, and I, I, I'm very happy about the reporters that were in that interview because they asked about uh, the price of gas. And they said, look, uh, will you tell us 
about the, the, the gas because this thing of LPG, you know, being zero rate, uh, being zero rated on VAT, and 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 uh, and the answer was that uh, you know. Um, uh, yes, it will bring the prices down, but we had already been told that by 1st of June, uh, the prices of uh, you know, a cylinder, a gas cylinder will go down to about between 300 and 500. When that question was posed, uh, of course the answer changed and we were told, no, it's not the, the, it's not the, the gas cylinder with the contents, it's only the gas cylinder itself. I, and I'm, I'm scared, uh, Sam, because even, even the prices of Unga were told to go down to about 100 shillings. Maybe now we'll be told by Kenya Kwanza that it's not the price of the unga in the packet. It's only the price of the packet that will go down to about 100 <laughs> shillings. You know, sir? <laughs> but, but Sam, finally, finally, allow me to just say this. Huh? Finally, allow me to just say this, Sam. You know, uh, the president was very keen and he said, you know, he wants to build the opposition. He okay. wants to have an office of the leader of opposition, even in parliament, give public funds. But let me ask, because this is a double speak, and I'm very concerned about this. How do you say you want to build the opposition and the office of the leader of opposition, yet on a daily basis you are raiding the opposition and taking members okay. of the opposition to become part of government? So that means in the long run you want an officer, a person as a leader of opposition, okay. without members. 